Many people assume that once you go into engineering school, you will only study technical courses with lots of mathematics, physics, and chemistry, and once you graduate, you will only have technical expertise. But in reality, engineering is a very broad degree, and you not only learn technical courses, but you also gain strong expertise within the non-technical and business courses. And due to this broad spectrum of subjects that you will have to study, engineers end up with a very vast knowledge which can help them get into any sector they wish to get in. So, in this video, we have decided to have a look at some of the non-technical courses that you can expect to study during your chemical engineering degree. So do remember to watch the video till the very end and if you do like it, then remember to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Life for more videos. Thank you. The very first subject that comes to mind is Engineering Philosophy. This subject combines the principles of engineering and philosophy, like you will have to think about and answer questions like, what is engineering? What are the ethics and morals of engineering solutions? How do engineers affect the society in general? You may have heard of the trolley problem, right? Well, you will learn and think about similar problems in, in a course like this. It is a very interesting course which will give you a very different perspective of engineering and will also teach you about that being an engineer is not only about reading books and making models but you have a collective responsibility to the people around you and every decision that you make needs to be assessed both ethically and morally. Another subject is business management because every engineer ends up working for a company, right? Even if it is a company with 50 employees or 500 or 5000, it will be built on the foundations of business management. So having technical skills is one thing, but even a greater skill is knowing how to present your skills and reports and show how you fit your technical skills into the larger picture of the business enterprise. Therefore, as a chemical engineer, you will need to have a very good understanding of business management and thus a course like this will teach you everything that you need to know about business models, organizational structures, management styles and so on. And these skills can be very important and can help you later in your career. Another subject is project management. In a course like this, you will learn about tips and skills for managing different projects. Because you have to remember that in the real world, as an, as an engineer, regardless of what line you are in, you will be always working with projects, because that is how companies manage everything. And therefore, uh, you will need to have a very good understanding on understanding how to set up the KPIs, how you can perform the cost analysis, how you can plan the projects, how you can delegate the task to the people in your team. And these are only the surface of what things that you learn in a course like project management. Another subject is engineering economics, where you will learn about economics and financial aspects of engineering projects. You will have to remember that the industry runs on money and every engineering decision is based upon whether it will bring any profit or not. Therefore, when you are working as an engineer in any industry, you need to be able to assess every decision and every project in terms of whether if it is pr profitable, will the, can the company actually afford it, will it bring value to the company, will it be even profitable in 10 years time, in 20 years time. So to be able to answer questions like these, you will need to be very good at the topic of engineering economics. Another subject which you can expect to study during your engineering degree is actually entrepreneurship, which will essentially teach you about how you can set up your own company and be your own boss. You may have noticed already that one of the biggest companies around the world, they are founded by engineers. So therefore, in a course like this, you can expect to learn everything that you need to, that you need to know about how to write business models, how to set up your company, about the taxation laws, about the regulation laws, and about different management styles. So if you plan to be your own boss in the future, 
this course should definitely be on your list. Well, thank you for watching. And if you feel that we missed out on a subject, then do remember to tell us in the comments below so that we can add it into our next videos. Again, if you have not done so already, then become a free member today at www.chemiclive.com and join the growing community of chemical engineers. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Life channel for more videos. Thank you and have a great day.